Hi, welcome to HealthStack. HealthStack is an open source mobile health framework that is available for both iOS and Android. HealthStack allows you to easily integrate your FAQ articles within your app and also allows users to report issues within your app. As you can see, HealthStack allows customization so that you can customize the look and feel of HealthStack according to your app. HealthStack currently supports three different help desk solutions, Zendesk, Happy Fox, and Disk. If you don't have a help desk solution, you can also integrate your email ID and a static list of articles within HealthStack. The source code for HealthStack is available on GitHub along with the installation instructions. For this demo, I'll be using Android Studio as my ID. The example project that I'll be using in this demo will be the Google I.O. 2014 app. As an Android developer, you might be already familiar with the Google I.O. app. The source code for the Google I.O. app is also available on GitHub. And in this demo, I will be integrating HelpStack into the Google I.O. app. I have downloaded the source code for the Google I.O. app and I have opened the project here in Android Studio. I will now run the app and show you how the app appears before integrating HelpStack. The app is opened here on my emulator and as you can see this is the app before we integrate help stack. Now in this demo there are two parts. The first part is in trying to figure out where to add the UI for help. Once the user clicks this help item the user will be taken into help stack. So the second part will be integrating help stack. Let us now go into the first part of figuring out where to add the help button. If you see in the side navigation drawer, there are a few menu items over here. I'll be adding the help item menu item below the settings menu item. As you can see, there are two parts to each menu item. One is an image and the other is a text. Let us now go into the source code and try to add the menu item. The source code for the navigation drawer is available in baseactivity.java. I'll now add the text that says help. It reads help. And I'll also add an image drop in. The drawable that I'll be using here is a question mark to denote help. I'll also have to refer to the menu item. So I'll add it uh, over here. I'll call it nav drawer item help. Give it a value of 9. And also I have to populate the nav drawer. So I'll add yeah, draw items dot add and I'll add the help item over here. I'll also have to add a click listener once we click this help item. So in go to nav draw item, I'll add case nav draw item help, and this is where we'll integrate help stack here. Now I have completed my first step and I will we'll see how the app appears. You should be able to see a UI for help under the settings menu item. As you can see we are question marked and a help item over here below the settings menu item. Now we will go into the second step of integrating help stack into our app. I will go to the build.gradle file and since help stack is available in the jcenter repository, I will add jcenter 
and I'll add the package name for health stack, which is com miles module name health stack and version 1.0 and upwards. The synchronization is successfully done. I'll create a new class that extends application. I'll call this class IO application. This will extend application. And in the on create method, I'll create a HSM stack object. In this demo, I'll be using Happy Fox as my help desk solution. Therefore, I'll create a HS Happy Fox gear. Call it HF gear. And as you can see, it requires an instance URL, API key, auth code, category ID, and priority ID. Let me now go into my Happy Fox account. The instance URL over here will be acmevidgetsco.happyfox.com And for the API key and auth code, I'll go into manage. Integrations. API. And I'll pick one of the API keys. Go here and write demo. Get the key. And get the auth code as well. I'll give a category ID of 1 and a priority ID of 1 as well. Now I'll set the gear that I've created, H of gear, to my help stack instance. I'll also add the IO application class to my application tag in my Android manifest XML. Now, in my on-click listener in base activity, I'll say HSM stack dot get instance dot show help. Now I have successfully integrated health stack into my app and I'll be able to see it. But before doing that, I would like to also add a theme to my app to customize the look and feel of it. I've downloaded the source code for health stack from GitHub and over here you can see a themes folder over here. From this, I'll pick HS Facebook theme since it all the Facebook theme looks very similar to the Google I/O app, and I'll copy the drawables and values file into my project. Now I'll copy the values. Now if I run the app, I'll be able to see the changes that I've made. Hello. So go to help. And as you can see, health stack has been successfully integrated. I would like to change the look and feel of health stack though. I would like to make this text a little more dark, change the background of this 
FAQ bar and also change the color of the FAQ test. To do this, I'll go into the appropriate colors.xml file that I have added and I'll change the child text color to black, the header background color to to teal, this will be the color. I'll change the header text color to white. I'll build and run the app again. As you can see, the changes to my theme have been made and I can see the teal background color, white color and the dark text color. It just took me a few lines of code to integrate help stack and also customize the theme for help stack. Thank you for watching this video.